Okay, yeah. So we have, yesterday we have discussed about this fluidized bed uh, and the bubbles in fluidized bed. Now I gave you this. Okay, you take in this the first uh, figure. Can you see the first figure? Yeah, give them. Yeah, please see the first figure. What do you see? First figure. First figure is small figure put on side. Huh? Yeah. Did I draw this figure on the board? Yeah, I have drawn this figure. You know, yesterday on the board, but he has drawn the actual lines later, which will also predict those uh, points. Okay. So, this is more informative than yesterday what I have given because yesterday I want to pose the problem, but in this solution also is given. You can see the topmost line and the top two lines in fact. What are the top two lines? For small d p. Small d p means what kind of bubbles you get? Very small bubbles, you know delta b, delta uh, yeah. A particles, okay, small bubbles, and more number of bubbles, so they move much faster, okay, and uh, so if you analyze this in terms of large diameter and small diameter of the particles, which will automatically take care of your bubble size, then you can also predict whatever we have discussed yesterday, okay. So that is figure one. Figure one, I think uh, you know what we have done, and I as I told you, you see there he has written also. 39 experimental studies. So, without bubbling model, we do not know how to predict that because they are all over the graph. Okay. So, now with the bubbling bed model, that means you know when you take the bubbles into account, then we can try to predict. That is what, what we have to derive now, the bubbling bed model. right? So, for that, the, that is the first figure and what is second figure? Second figure is just a picture of how the fluidized bed looks like yeah, with the bubbles. Okay. You can see lot of information is there on that. If you see that you know the that row of bubbles just going up, you have small bubble while it is moving up, it goes you know it grows, and when it is growing, its wake also is increasing. That means it is taking more and more particles along with it to the top. And once it goes and then breaks there, you see there is a thick arrow. Yeah, those are the solids. U U S is given there. If you look very carefully, U S U S is the solid velocity which is coming down right so the general uh, assumption in fluidized bed is that there is a continuous movement of solids in the fluidized bed where particles are taken by the wakes by the bubbles in the wakes and then they go leave the bubbles uh, they leave the solids there because something is going from the bottom to fill up that gap something else has to come okay so that is why recirculations for solids and then you will have good mixing because of the bubble zone, right? And if you don't have good mixing, the beautiful property of same temperature, same concentration will not be there for fluidized bed. So that is the reason why you know that that is the basics again. We are talking about basics uh, whenever we talk about these things. You know, the, our basic thing, mixed flow reactor is we should have same temperature, same concentration in a mixed flow reactor, which is equivalent to your, uh, our uh, plug flow reactor. Sorry, our uh, fluidized bed reactor. So that is that figure. And figure three. If you see that is the actually, if you take one bubble, what is really happening in that one bubble? And before understanding that bubble, okay, that uh, uh, figure three, you can come to figure four. This is what yesterday I have explained to you. <coughs> figure four. The first one is, you know, in that out of there are six figures. The topmost top row, first figure, you have U B R equal to zero. What is the meaning? They are stationary bubbles. They are not moving, just going there, and the gas in the emulsion at minimum fluidization velocity is simply going through the bed. Bubble is stationary there, right? So, as I told you yesterday, this gas will use this bubble as a short circuit, and then it will try to go through that. See that these are the streamlines which are going through that. These are the gas streamlines, the arrows which are going through that, right? And now you see. If the bubble started moving, not UBR equal to not UBR equal to zero first one, UBR not equal to zero second one, 
in fact u b r by u f equal to 0.6 you you see now how the streamlines are taking turns and one of the streamlines at the edge of the bubble is already circulated okay so now you see when ubr equal to uf the next figure that is ubr equal to one, ubr by uf equal to 1 there the gas already started recirculating but still there are no clouds right even at ubr equal to ub uf still there is no cloud there you could observe you no know, that you will observe in the next figure when ubr equal to 1.1 uf just 1.1 uf you can see the cloud forming okay you can see the cloud forming and uh, davidson has also derived an equation for calculating cloud uh, cloud radius rc by rb whole cube equal to you have ubr and uf those two velocities uf is umf by epsilon mf okay that yesterday i have written there so that's how the cloud comes and when the bubble velocity is increasing now you see in the next figure ubr is 7 times uf if ubr is 1 cm per second uf oh sorry yeah when ubr is when uf is 1 cm per second ubr is 7 cm per second that means bubble is going much faster so it will make more of the gas circulating within the bubble and also cloud also reduces and you see ubr by uf greater than 100 cloud thickness is almost zero so that means most of the gas now started recirculating please carefully observe within the bubble itself so when most of the gas is started recirculating within the bubble where is the possibility for the bubble for the gas to come out and then react with solid that is the reason why you have gone to that worst you know even above uh, mixed flow because absolutely no contact between the solids and then uh, gas all the gas is going within the bubbles and particularly when you have uh, the flow rate through the bed is maybe 100 times umf 50 times umf 60 times umf minimum fluidation velocity actual bubble velocity is 50 times to 100 times umf then the bubbles will go much much faster then you will have very very thin clouds but most of the gas is circulating within the uh, bubbles itself so absolutely there is no contact between the solids and the gas so that is the reason why there is no reaction at all yeah i think circulation of gas yeah that is true that is happening but when you go to the last figure cloud disappeared so most of the gas is only circulating within the bubble that is worst scenario so in reality how, how do you uh, how can you see the boundaries of the bubble and the cloud separately what is the then the cloud exactly cloud is gas uh, sorry yes, sir not cloud bubble is gas cloud is particles okay, and how but but the particles in the uh, cloud different from the particles they are slightly different because the uh, the bubble is just moving when it is just moving the particles are there just on the roof right so whatever particles which are not falling through down okay and when it is just pushing those particles if you see the local uh, wide edge local wide edge that will be slightly smaller than the outside okay that is only the difference and you can see that one because you ask a very good question see the next figure next side figure 5 that the actual bubble that is taken by photograph you see all other places slightly you know you have that dark area right and then yeah around that you have you no know, more uh, dense particles and away from that is slightly less dense particles and another beautiful thing what you can see is you know the ha huh, the wake how the solids are going with the wake see davidson theory was beautifully measured also with uh, experiments and you can you see the next one next one means b 5b those are the streamlines in fact okay so this is a, in fact uh, this is one of the greatest uh, you know uh, I, i think i say discoveries in uh, chemical engineering with respect to fluid aged beds really beautiful that theory davidson okay and of course harrison davidson and harrison these are the two people i think i have to just write that also
these are the two people from Cambridge University who have done this. But uh, um, the first person is Davidson alone has done lot of work on the bubbles. Okay, yeah. If my remembrance is correct, I think the uh, Davidson uh, Davidson was mechanical engineer, I think. But he liked so many chemical engineering problems, he shifted to chemical engineering, and first started doing work on uh, gas liquid systems. Gas liquid systems. I think he was working on working in ICI, if I remember correctly, and then uh, you know he developed some bubble columns for ICI at that time. I'm talking about 50s, 40s, and 50s. And this theory is mostly by 62, 67 we have thorough theory for even gas solid system bubbles. He knows liquid uh, gas system. Okay, that, that is normal. We know all of us know how the bubbles go in the liquid. Okay, that is everyday phenomena for us. When you are taking any drink, okay, so you can see how the bubbles come up, and when you see any aquarium, you can see a lot of bubbles coming up. So all that, but we never get excited, you know, when the bubbles are coming, because I think we are, maybe we will look at only fish. When can I eat that fish? Okay, <laughs> and we are losing the beautiful part of the bubbles. Which is very important for us, okay? So that is the reason maybe we never bother. But I think he has done lot of work, and then afterwards he extended the same theory with some assumptions for the bubbles in solids. And many people did not believe, even though many people don't believe that there are bubbles in the fluidized bed. But if you come to our lab, I can show you. Okay? Yeah. I think ask Gunjan uh, when he has removed the packing, and then he can show beautifully the bubbles how they are coming. and some of the bubbles will crawl near the surface where you can see right and this photograph was done with the two dimensional column two dimensional column two dimensional column means they take huh? they take just two plates like this okay and then bottom there is a distributor plate they inject one bubble when that bubble is moving slowly then of course they can control that uh, move, uh, movement with slow injection and then that is taken uh, uh, this photograph is taken when this bubble was slowly moving right i mean it's beautiful no i think sometime back the phd students used to conduct quiz i only pushed them when i was hod i think yeah so they used to three years they conducted this quiz for uh, chemical engineering students including btex they used to come but phd students i asked them to take the lead okay so in fact i gave this one different uh, faculty members gave different questions i gave this i gave this as photograph and asked the students to identify what is it okay only without writing anything just this photograph and then showing i think just one or two people saw atomic bomb okay <laughs> correct no same thing <laughs> yeah yeah it is really atomic bomb as far as fluidization is concerned because if we don't understand this we don't know anything how to characterize fluidization at all okay good so this is the one and uh, now yeah you see the uh, uh, yeah this said all the figures we have explained right yeah and if you see now figure 3 so please go to the other side figure 3 now when i told you, you know after figure we will come back so there it will give you more clear picture of, uh, about how the solids are moving even in the clouds or how the solids are moving slightly away from clouds and how the recirculation of gas is taking place you know at least physics you please remember i say physics please remember the inefficiency of the fluidized bed is due to the bubbles where fast moving bubbles will not allow gas to come out of the bubbles so that there will not be any contact between the solids and this gas so then where is the reaction the other part of the bed the amount of gas going is very very small i told you know if uh, normally in the industrial reactors you use 20 times 30 times 40 times umf but how much gas is going through the emulsion the other part of the bed only one umf only one umf right so that is the reason why very small amount of gas is going through the solids and uh, you not have much reaction because there should be more concentration see the rate of reaction depends on concentration of gas amount of gas okay so when most of the gas is going in the form of bubbles very small amount of gas is going through the um so solids that is emulsion where is the reaction you don't get that kind of high reactions okay so that is the inefficiency in the fluidized bed and that's why people you know try to do that uh, i told you, you know shallow beds can be used for example that means where there is no time for the gas bubble to form grow and then move up right so shallow beds means if the diameter is 1 meter you take only half meter height 
okay, half meter height solids. So then you will not have uh, this kind of big problem. You will have still small bubbles coming and going very quickly out, but I think they will not destroy the bed so much. Some people started shaking the bed because by shaking the bed you may also have bubbles. Yeah, bubbles not forming at the at the pore, uh, the, the distributor plate itself. I told you know how this. Uh, bubbles may be forming is you have one perforation the gas will try to go into that it is not able to go because a lot of solids are there then it slowly started pushing the solids like when you want to go through the crowd what do you do you push all the people there a little bit forward okay so that means you are creating a void when you are pushing them for you to move so that's what gas also is trying to do when it is trying to do then at one time it will form sufficient volume where by buoyancy it will detach from the perforation from then onwards it grows so by shaking uh, your perforated plate or the entire column what is happening you are not allowing that kind of uh, you know pushing the solids uh, pushing the gas pushing uh, okay the, the gas pushing the solids it is not happening okay so that's what some people did and some people did that okay we will take the large height of the beds but put distributor plates in between for example sieves okay so idea is bubble uh, at the bottom will grow and then come and uh, hits the the sieve in between so it may break and again another bubbles may form but at least that bubble is destroyed so all these techniques also have been done to improve the uh, performance of fluid aged beds okay so that is the one so if you go to the next uh, page yeah figure 6 is same thing what we have drawn earlier also that means you know how uh, slow bubbles the gas is bypassing through the bubbles for slow bubbles that is the right hand side of figure 6 and left hand side what you have is bubbles going faster so circulations are within the bubble and within the cloud okay good so then figure 7 now is the picture for the bubbling bed model in fact davis and harrison what they have done was that they thought that bubbles and solids they have separated like our two phase region the other day i have drawn that two phase region model okay that model they have followed right so with uh, knowing clearly how much is there in the uh, clouds and wakes and all that but they consider clouds wakes everything in the solids only bubbles are moving then they have also proposed uh, a model which was not very good in the prediction wise but they never accept that in fact cambridge university people never accept the levens peel model okay there are two groups in the world one is that cambridge group another one is this kuni levens peel group okay kuni levens peel uh, yeah kuni levens peel model this is davidson harrison model that is two phase model and uh, this one two region model and this kuni levens peel model is three phase model or three region model where they have taken separately bubble phase and they have taken wakes and uh, cl clouds where definitely there is more contact right when compared to the emulsion in this region there is more contact of gas with the solids because they are moving with the entire gas okay so that is another region and from there it goes to emulsion now if you imagine the first thing what i have told you in the beginning how do you develop this uh, rate of reaction for heterogeneous systems okay you write all the steps together right now here step 1 is the bubble gas if there are solids there is some reaction in the bubble then transfer of this gas to the clouds and wakes because those are the nearest ones okay so then uh, this transfer that is mass transfer mass transfer to the clouds and wakes now because there are solid particles reaction conditions now there is reaction in clouds and wakes now whatever gas is left further it will be transported to emulsion and from there it cannot go anywhere it has to react under steady state conditions you see no but here beauty here is this is parallel steps and also series steps series and parallel steps both are coming here what are the series steps series steps are mass transfer steps from bubble to mass going to the clouds and wake from clouds and wakes to emulsion parallel steps is in all these things 
the reaction going on in bubbles reaction going on in clouds and wakes reaction going on in emulsion so that is the overall concept of this entire bubbling bed model so then it is only mathematical details okay and you have to really excuse me here in the sense that uh, i am going to write uh, some parameters uh, for the for writing this for finally writing bubbling bed model but some of the parameters actually takes one or two chapters in those books for the derivation okay but we have to blindly accept that right thinking that but they are now very well established i am not cheating you but they are very well established but definitely i also agree with you that if you have a physical feeling that for that uh, equation the pleasure is different okay that is what i say really when you enjoy when you, you enjoy only when you have the physical feel for the problem what you are doing and some of the classes you may enjoy because you you think that you have understood you are also part of that the phenomena then only you start enjoying that but for that much effort is required from your side it's not only from teacher's side okay i mean teachers also can kill your enthusiasm if everything is confusing to you then definitely you will never you will try to understand in first one two weeks and if you are not able to follow anything switch off what switch off brain okay till now it will be open the moment you enter the room classroom switch off you will be laughing you will be enjoying and all that that's different but still it is locked okay so when after class is over go and again switch on the brain so nothing will go i mean exactly it, it is two way you know reversible reaction if a teacher is lousy also can kill you if you are yourself is not interested in learning then that also can kill you okay so that's why i mean all my teaching always is always to try to bring at least one more person for interesting side that's all one more in every class one more one more one more okay i don't have 40 people now here yeah. we have taken 40 classes okay so that is the model but let us now take yeah i am sure you may just now temporarily ah have you know anything in the no no not in the in the in the in the direction where it is going okay what they have taken is they have taken one slice in the bed at any one cross section one cross section and then you write the balance here that balance is i have a one bubble the bed height is so much in between you take a thin slice because along the height of the bed we have to integrate anyway okay yeah so dz you take and then write the balance for this that is if there is one bubble there in that slice so the reaction is going on in the bubble if there are solids people found that there are very small number of, of solids sometimes you can neglect sometimes you can also add it's not going to change the value that much okay but normally we will add to see so reaction then transfer to the clouds and wake in the same level horizontal direction uh, why it has to go because concentration gradient is there is concentration gradient according to the, uh, this there's only uh, which figure you are referring to uh, figure 9 so there is a different concentration in the emulsion and a different concentration in the cloud but there is no con uh, concentration difference within the cloud within the cloud we don't expect no, sorry within the cloud yeah cic no it's not assumption is that you have uniform concentration throughout the cloud right not only cloud even in the wakes wakes and cloud yeah and emulsion there is only one concentration and in the bubbles there is another concentration which is cab so because uh, i asked you this question because um, if the figure 4 shows uh, the slow bubble moving and the uh, the cloud radius is comparable to the bubble radius and that is slow bubbles no which which figure you are referring how oh, in uh, figure 4 so in that case would it be a uh, valid assumption that the concentration is that the cloud would be equal yeah see the validity automatically comes when you have the experimental data being verified that right even then this is not perfect model i tell you there are still many many assumptions in this when you derive the actual the equations which i am going to derive you will have hell i mean what is that finally we are trying to do there are many many assumptions but with all those assumptions figure 1 if you see i think uh, figure 1 the side figure there is a side small figure side side yeah ah oh, that one you see that line the first line that is predicting for the small uh, diameter particles you see what is how much scattering is there around that line those are the actual experimental data okay 
so that is why there are assumptions you, you may feel that yes there may not be uniform concentration throughout the cloud okay so but you you can't uh, uh, do better than this that's why this model is accepted and any delta x improvements you can always do with more and more mathematics okay <coughs> the, any other questions yeah and uh, the figure 10 where the equation is there that will only i think uh, you know levens pl has used some other uh, same thing only but the basis has been changed so this equation we are not going to derive i think other equation we are going to er uh, derive that equation which you have to use if, if it is given in the examination okay that is the equation so the this equation is uh, his from his old book and in the recent third edition where you have the book third edition levens pl so i can't use this equation because i think uh, if you want to go through the book i have to draw i better draw that particular uh, uh, i mean uh, equations okay so that is the reason why except that all the other figures are valid for our discussion okay but you will get very similar one but only thing is that material balance is not proper because you know here he has used uh, uh, the balance based on volume of the bubbles all the time i told you know rate of reaction can be expressed in various ways for uh, for heterogeneous systems weight of the solids volume of the bed volume of the bubbles that is wide edge so all that but here it is volume of the bubbles but in the book he has used volume of the bed that's why there is an extra factor coming delta delta is the fraction of bubbles per unit volume of the bed so that's the way that equation will be slightly different format exactly same thing same format you have same but terms will be slightly different good okay so now uh, i am sure you think that you have understood but oh my god yeah uh, you may not remember after some time right so that's why let me give some uh, notes at least for those people i think you know who want to read again before the examination and all that at least this will be there you are not lost totally unless otherwise you read the fluidization book or uh, levens pl cre book uh, edition 3 where he has beautifully summarized also right so it doesn't mean that you know don't take this and only go and read that okay so but please write once more writing nothing will uh, harm you your health will be perfectly okay by writing this thing what i'm going to tell you but still if you read it's fine so hydrodynamic model okay. the discouraging results you can just write below that the discouraging results with the previous approaches what are the previous approaches you can write if you want yeah one parameter model rtd model ctd model two region model that is in the bracket okay let us reluctantly to the conclusion that we must know more about what goes in the bed what goes in the bed if we develop if we develop a reasonable predictive flow model to develop a reasonable predictive flow model that's hydrodynamic flow model okay hydrodynamic flow model in particular we must learn more about the behavior of rising bubbles rising gas bubbles since they probably cause much of the difficulty since they probably cause much of the difficulty next para you can write two developments are important in this regard the first one is the first one is davidson's remarkable theoretical development and experimental verification and experimental verification of the flow of the flow of gas in the vicinity of a single rising bubble in a fluidized bed okay in a fluidized bed so yeah uh, from where uh, of the flow in the vicinity of a single rising bubble or before that huh? okay i will read from the beginning the first is davidson's remarkable theoretical development and experimental verification of the flow of gas 
verification of flow of gas in the vicinity of a single rising bubble in fluidized bed, which is otherwise at UMF. That means the fluidized bed is at UMF. Okay, only bubble is rising, which is which is otherwise at UMF. Okay, yeah. He found that for fast rising bubbles, yeah, the gas recirculates within R. Yeah, the the gas recirculates within the bubble. Within and cloud, recirculates within the bubble and the cloud. Yeah, that means here important thing what you have to note down is that bubbles have clouds, and the gas is trying to recirculate within the cloud and then also within the bubble. But under extreme conditions, all the gas only may circulate within the bubbles. So that will be worst condition where uh, to get very very low performance in fluid aged bed. Okay, that is the one. So I think uh, there are many things, but still I think I will just cut down that one. The second finding, first one was that you know the the, the model development for the bubble itself. Second one is the second finding on single bubbles is that every rising gas bubble drags behind. The second finding on single bubbles is that every rising bubble, gas bubble, drags behind it a wake of solids, defined as. As alpha equal to volume of wake divided by volume of bubble. Oh my God! Yeah, alpha. Okay, that you can write. Oh yeah. Alpha varies. To stop there, alpha varies between 0.2 to alpha varies between 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.2 to 2. Okay, 1 2 is T O, another T O at at T is T W. Okay, 0.2 to 0.2 to 2. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is one, and Lansbury very beautifully says that depending on please continue 0.2 to 2. Depending on who reports the results, <laughs> really it is so vague. Really here, I think Abhinav was asking, you know, yeah, all these perfect things are there, but I think measurement also is very difficult to find out. That means just imagine alpha is volume of wake by wake by volume of the bubble, no, right? So what is the meaning of two? If alpha is two, what is the meaning? Huh? So I mean, how can it be? <laughs> that means you know, you have a, a small person trying to carry you know, two tons, to, to three tons on his head, or just hanging, you know, try to lift, which is very difficult, no? So many solids to be lifted up. Yeah, volume. That is related, no? If you have the, uh, I mean, what do you contain in that volume? Yeah, that's what. But you know those are solids only, right? Nothing else in the wake. So solids have some density. Whatever density that we can see, but definitely the volume sizes also indicate indirectly the weight also. No. So that is just to tell this that it is not that easy to measure the wake volumes and all that. That is why you can't expect perfect matching of experimental results with the theory. Okay. So in fact, in all multi-phase systems, this is the problem. That is why I like chemical engineering. Because there are so many things. Even now, for you, if you are really interested in fluid aged beds, I can tell you 110 problems in fluid in gas solid fluid aged beds. Not one or two. Even now. Okay. So that, every question what you ask, every doubt what you ask, is there a such problem? Like he was telling, you no, know, sir. How can it be true that there is a concentration uh, same throughout the cloud? That is a such problem for us. You can actually send a single bubble and change various velocities and try to measure. Those concentrations in the entire cloud, from bottom to the top, around the bubble. Okay, like this one. This is very vague, point two two two. So, what is the exact amount? Can you measure? Because as technology is increasing, then you know sophistication in measurement also increases. So, we will have now excellent measurement techniques. So, without disturbing any bed at all, you can try to measure from outside. No in situ measurements, only from outside. 
Okay, so that's called non-destructive testing and all that. So just watch from outside, and then you can get maximum information by using some kind of gadgets. You know, like finally it goes to like uh, you know science fiction movies, right? Yeah, like this, like this, like this. If you see all the planets also may move. Yeah, that is the kind of well, movies they show. No, that like this, like this. I think now recently I started seeing one uh, axe advertisement. Uh, axe advertisements are all crazy advertisements. You know, so one boy will be she will say that. So from I think you know the latest one is from some planet also she pushes like this. She says like this. Then her racket will come to India. Where <laughs> so finally she comes to his room. Okay, so that kind of science fiction. You know from. smelling you know diffusion how fast the diffusion must be this fellow <laughs> this fellow he is not even you know completely sprayed she starts there then she smells that there in some other planet my god it is instantaneous diffusion throughout the universe that is fantastic given light light cannot travel so fast but axe smell can travel so wonderful no is imagination very good <laughs> okay <coughs> good so this is another one these two are the important findings because for us there are clouds wake where there is some amount of solids now i think uh, cached on this information kuni leon spill developed their own model before that davidson developed another model using only bubbles and all the solids like exactly two region model what we have discussed earlier okay but they have not used so many parameters like six parameters they have not used but they simplified the parameters and it was to some extent for some reactions it was able to predict then came kuni and lewenspiel kuni is from japan and lewenspiel is from usa both of them met it seems in one of the chemical engineering conferences because i think their story also is very nice because both of them traveling from chicago to somewhere or so by train so i think kuni sanar daughter small child i think went and uh, scratched uh, lewenspiel because you know, in the train when they are moving <laughs> that is the starting point i think she was the catalyst so then they became friend you know normally that happens you know for us also when you are traveling what is the center of attraction generally if you want to make friendship with someone children okay you will go and say hey, like that <laughs> then then mother and father automatically will become friends to you so it is exactly same thing happened for leon spiegel and kuni i read this in i read this long time back in one of the Uh, articles okay from then on what their collaboration is fantastic and that book kuni leon spiel is one of the excellent uh, books for fluidization and the title is fluidization engineering i don't know whether you heard of that or not davidson harrison also wrote this big book but satyajitra movie okay because uh, you know because they only <laughs> they only tell the facts truth always huts and all that no P -p poverty other who will read that book okay who will go to satyajit ray how many of you see seen satyajit ray movies okay not even one no kavya you are interested satyajit ray movies oh good <laughs> then then for you you should read uh, davidson harrison book <laughs> but whereas kuni leon spiel book with beautiful examples nice presentation i can tell you kuni is a lousy writer the papers written by kuni alone if you want to read you can never read even abstract okay abstract may be 10 lines or maximum 5 lines okay of the papers i am telling you cannot but it is leon spiel who changed him also for presentation wonderful presentation again kuni leon spiel book library also it must be there you can just go and see what beautiful way the bubbles he represents and all that of course you can see that in um, third edition of leon spiel also where he has just copied from there to this book to this book leon spiel clarity is fantastic i think in my opinion he is the truest engineer but many people in the us it seems he won't like chemical engineers because he will try to simplify things okay he won't use complications right so that's why and if you read his papers also is a uh, research papers almost many papers i can tell you 60 to 70% of the papers will have worked out examples in the papers research papers normally no one gives worked out example and all this uh, information what we have uh, what we are going to discuss for kuni leon spiel model also came in 6 uh, to 7 papers in every paper okay uh, there is one at least one worked out example where that gives you the clarity the moment you try to put numerical values uh, calculate and then get the feeling you will automatically get the feeling so that is the kind of i think leon spiel is great who made cre very simple before that there were two books uh, wallace book 
chem uh, reaction or that uh, kinetics for chemical uh, chemical engineers or so and before that augen watson these two books i think no one uh, i think read also that uh, maybe uh, uh, wallace is slightly better but when uh, when uh, levenspiel book came only it went to throughout the world as chemical reaction engineering subject after you wrote that book so all of you got this okay oh yeah 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 i will also give you you can uh, distribute to them let them you have this with you i thought i will give in the next class but i think uh, but don't throw them out these are the problems in uh, fluid acid bed reactors and also slurry reactors this advanced booking okay because i have not done both now right fluid acid bed we are doing but slurry reactor there are just one or two problems you can do that as far as possible whatever i know answers also i have given but then just keep it with you and then solve 